Now we're ready to make a bank deposit. We've received several checks from customers and we're ready to lump these together and take them to the bank. First, let's look at our chart of accounts. You can see here in undeposited funds we have $69,154. We're going to take these to the bank here and add it to this amount, $45.19. Let's close this window and let's come here to the customer navigator. Let's choose the deposits button. Here this window shows all the checks we've received from customers on account that we have grouped with undeposited funds. Let's select all and click OK. QuickBooks prepares the deposit for us here and totals it at 69154. These checks represent checks that we have received from customers who have paid us on account. What about checks that we receive that are not from customers paid, who paid on account? For example, a refund from the telephone company. Let's come here to the next available line and let's code in a refund we received from our telephone company. The account would be telephone because we're going to decrease that telephone expense account. And let's come over here and record the check number 45621. This is a check and the amount of the refund was $100. That's how to record checks that you receive that are not from customers who paid on account. Simply come in here to the Make Deposits window and record them directly in here. One other item we want to discuss before we take this deposit to the bank. What about cash back? The owner of our business is going to take this deposit to the bank and he's going to get $1,000 cash back to have for his own spending money. So let's come down here and let's come down to the owner's draw account and let's record a thousand dollars. So now we have our total amount going to the bank of sixty nine two fifty four, a thousand dollars cash back so this is the amount that's going to be deposited sixty eight two fifty four. Another example of a cash back would be for petty cash if you're going to get cash back to replenish your petty cash you can handle that here. Now we can click save and close but before we do that let's pull up our chart of accounts again and notice our 69,000 is still here. Let's close it and let's click save and close and now let's look at our bank balance. You can see that the 69,000 has been added and now our balance at the bank is 72,773. And that's how to record and prepare our deposits. One additional thing we want to point out, let's come back in here into the deposits window. Let's click on previous and let's look at our previous deposit. We have a couple of print choices here two choices. We can print a deposit slip. You can order deposit slips directly from Intuit and QuickBooks will prepare a deposit slip that is sufficient for giving to the bank teller along with your deposits. If you choose to hand prepare your deposit then you can use the second choice deposit summary only and this will print out a summary of the deposit which is useful for preparing your manual deposit slip.